Hey guys, so I'm doing just a very quick review on this lipstick right here by Melt Cosmetics. Um, I'm going to be looking down a little bit so I can read you guys what's on this itinerary. So the lipstick is called DGAF. I don't have to tell y'all what DGAF means. <laughs> you already know, especially if you're watching this. Um, the lipstick itself was $19 plus, uh, $7 for shipping. So it came up to $26 even. Um, I utilize PayPal for it. So I don't really know how it is using a card or whatever the case is. Um, I actually have Starlet coming in the mail soon. So look out for a review for that. Um, so far I've had this lipstick on for about three hours and there's no lipstick on my teeth like at all today and I've been taking a lot of pictures if you go on over to Instagram you'll actually see a couple of the pictures that I did take yeah I'm really feeling it um, so the packaging of the lipstick itself is like this and it says milk cosmetics has lips right and you receive a thank you card and it tells you how to tag um, tag them please excuse the nails I definitely need to paint them I also got this lovely sticker um, that is the color that's on my lip as well as this cute little button All right and it's a magnetic one So, unless, yeah, that's, I don't know, it's a mirror. Yep, it's a mirror. Um, they came wrapped in this. It is so cute how it came. You guys have no idea. And this is the little box that it came in. I'm not going to show you guys the front, obviously, because it has my uh, address and information on it. But this lipstick is not drying at all even though it is a matte blue lipstick it is nowhere near drying it is actually it feels more velvety if anything um if it doesn't feel like all right if you guys know mac um you know that at mac there is uh different types of finishes this one does not it's a matte but it doesn't feel like ruby wool um it kind of sort of feels like Russian red, but just with a, a matte um, appearance. Because Russian red is, I think it's a matte, but it doesn't come off as drying as Ruby Woo. But whatever. So this is what the lipstick looks like in the tube. Right? It has a, a, um, a Crayola scent. Like, it smells like Crayola. So this is what it looks like. And um, it didn't take me very long to actually apply this to my lip. Um, you know how sometimes you try to, like, perfect it and you try to make sure that it's, like, evenly distributed and <laughs> everything? Yeah, like, I literally, I did three swipes. All together so I did one swipe down here and then I did one two and then like I did that with my lips for a little bit and yeah so far I am in love I am a very 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 happy camper and I will be purchasing um, more of their lipsticks I actually want to get blow I want to get 666. I, I'm not side real quick and then coming back. And yeah, I done changed my parting. Oh, I'm a hot mess. But um, so far now, I've had it on for about, I think, five hours? Four or five hours. And it's right around here. It's starting to feather just a little bit. But it's nothing that's un- you know, that little blotting of the lips can't do. And yeah, that's it.
This is what it looks like. And it's just a little bit over here that's missing. But from afar, you can't really tell. So, yeah. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, I actually have Starlet coming as well as I just purchased probably like two more. I know I have a problem. I love makeup. Or shall I say lipstick? So, yep. Oh, yeah, and I took off my lashes that I had on earlier, as you guys can see. Yikes. All right, I think that's enough. Okay, leave a comment down below. Let me know what other lipsticks are out there. Um, yeah, <laughs> bye, guys.